Yo, what is good, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob Battle for Beginning Bottom Rehydrated. I'm your guy Ninja Killer 74, and let's get back into the mix with the Kelp Forest because in the last part we actually uh, unlocked the last little portion of uh, Bikini Bottom here, where we can go to the final levels in the game. Uh, we also defeated Robot Patrick and entered the Chum Bucket and got a very annoying spatula that you got to get with uh, the wall jump and the camera switching. We also cleared some robots out of the Krusty Krab over there, and uh, I'm not sure if, if you saw it right but uh, I did a little bit of grinding off-screen for shiny objects because there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to need shiny objects for coming up. So I decided to get that out of the way. But without further ado, let's head right into the Kelp Forest. I mentioned before in the last part that this, as a child, I, 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 didn't, I could not stand this level whatsoever. It was confusing. Here we are in the kelp forest, an interesting area with many sights to see, for those that don't get hopelessly lost first. There's a new type of robot. I actually forgot what this guy's name is. Um, don't worry, at the very end of the series, I will, uh, before I enter the final mission, I will show you all the robots in the, uh, in the police station. There's a sock up there. So yeah, the best way you take that robot out. Oh, I just got slapped by the slappy ref. The slappy slap. Uh. Uh. Fine. Leaf. Leaf. Yeah, that's a slap. That leaf will slap you. So uh, you gotta be careful there. But yeah, this place used to confuse the hell out of me when I was younger. And also, I mean, the music was good though, which was conflicting. So. But yeah, that robot, the best way to take it out is just basically the will kill all parts. Well, you can take out a bottom portion or whatever, but you want to take out pretty much them in succession, in quick succession. So we're going to head this way. I've noticed, by the way, is it me or does Mrs. Puff seem to have the most, uh... <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Is it me, though, or does it seem like Mrs. Puff has the most fetch quests? of any character in this game. Okay. Ready? Ouch. Ah, Feel made like it. Like a new sponge. And there's that sock we saw in the very beginning. Another fine for Patrick. There are a total of 7 socks here, and you can see what the collectible is here. It looks like there's some people or something. We'll learn about that in a little bit, though. But first, let's take this guy out. We're gonna jump over this. Ow. We're gonna hit this guy, and then we're gonna go up and take them all out. There we go. As you can see, there's throw fruit here, so we already know Patrick's gonna be here. And there's some shh tiki's right here. Uh, actually, hold on. Let's, let, let's, let's bowl these guys out of here. Let's get these guys out of here. Why not? Aww, oh, boo. But yeah, you do get a sock for that, though. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Fresh like a spring breeze. All right, we got another box right here. And here's Mrs. Puff. Hi, Mrs. Puff. Driving class isn't out here today, is it? Uh, no, SpongeBob. Why, why do you say that? Do you think we'd have class out here just to hide from you? <laughs> How silly. I'm just, uh, gathering twigs for the winter. Yes, that's it. Huh. Oh, can I help? I have a merit badge in twig gathering. Actually, you can help with something else. These robots showed up and scared all the students, I mean, uh, campers, off huh. into the forest. Before the ranger arrives, someone needs to go out and find them. I'll help you find them, Mrs. Puff. I'm the sponge for the job. Thanks, SpongeBob. I'll make sure to give you a nice reward when you've found all of them. So yeah, we gotta go find these six campers. Oh, they kept an Easter egg in this game. Well, not Easter egg, but they kept this in the game. They just took a shit. But um, actually, they, that used to sound way nasty. That shit used to sound hard. It used to be like in the first version of this game. Okay, so we're gonna switch to Patrick now. Uh. 
Now that we have all the tools necessary to, uh... I will crush them! Oh, again! Again! But now that we have all the tools necessary to get all the stuff that we need, by the way, in this level, or the levels now, because we have all the, uh, the upgrades, I might finish the level by finding, or finishing, you know, finding all the, uh, the, uh, socks. That's much better. He has an arc. This is the first time taking on an arc with Patrick right here. Oh! More than one. Oh. Asshole. We're gonna set that off. These guys are new. They're like mini sleepy times. And he's gone. Now if you look over here, you can see there's a, uh, a duplicator drawn. Our goal. Oh. Ow. If we can, let's get over here to the duplicator truck. Turn it off. I wonder. Can I take these guys out with Patrick? I cannot. Well, this is what happens if you don't kill them all. There we go. Hey, my back feels better. All right, there we go. Now we got all these guys out of the way. That'll make this a lot more manageable. I apologize for being here, but I said I got family. Woo! Up we go. It's probably easier to take out this top one. When I think about it. Yeah, see? It's been a while since I played this mission, so, or mission level, so you gotta be, uh, bear with me for a little bit. I'm trying to just find out, uh, what exactly I'm trying to do here. Is that the roof over here? I didn't think I got to throw that. Wait a minute, hold on. I'm getting a bit lost already. No, nothing up here. I don't know why I'm getting so damn lost. Uh, I know there's stuff I gotta do with Patrick over here involving stuff up here. So I'm just gonna head this way. We're just going to go this way. Maybe I'm doing it out of order. That's probably... I'm, I'm probably doing it out of order. You can see there's stuff right here, but we need to activate some other stuff to get there. I'm pretty sure. I don't see anything. There's a gold spatula right there. We'll get that when we finish this, this area. What is a whistle? Well, we can get a sock down here also. Yeah, let's do that right now. Let's get this side. Throw this into the water. I believe if you come back here, yeah, it's right back. Would you out there all alone? And then we can just hop right back up. Um, you know, I was gonna say we can hop right back up, but um. You want to hurry up and hit those guys, by the way, before the, uh, the little rays on them turn red. If they turn red, you will get hurt. They have pretty far range, too. Patrick can avoid getting hit by them by doing that. Just a little pound joint. I believe I have to do that stuff right there with SpongeBob, though, so we're going to go back and get him. I apologize if I see very dis uh, jointed, uh, disoriented in the like. Because I, like I said, I have not played this level in quite a bit. It was confusing in the past, and it's confusing now, so. We're gonna go over here, the bus stop, and grab Sponge Robert. Okay, we're gonna head up here. I'm gonna bowl this fuck because I can. I missed, so she's just gonna get slapped. Uh.
All right. So we're gonna head across this bridge over here. I uh, believe we don't need Patrick yet, so we're gonna hop on these leaves. You wanna hurry up and hop off because they do not stay there. They are temporary platforms. Too and I keep going this way. Can't take it. And we have a switch right there. Now we couldn't hit the switch otherwise if we didn't have our new move that we got in the last part, the cruise bubble, which is Say hello this. to my little bubble friend. And with that, we have uh, created some uh, platforms, actually. So we can hop over here. Some stuff up here, too. So let's head over here. Oh, look, there's a camper! Our very first one of six. Alright, here's where we need our good buddy Patrick. I like how the ranger has his tent right here, and Mrs. Bob's like, we gotta give it up before the ranger gets back. But like, the, the ranger's tent is like right there. It's literally right there. So we found our first camper, quote unquote. Now we're gonna head over here, we're gonna hit this teeter-totter. Actually, before we do that, can I take that jump back? Apologize if you can hear that again. Alright. Uh, we're gonna have. Wait a minute, what, what, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Let's smack this. There we go. So we've created that now. So we can head across over here. We can jump down here. Can I make that? Yeah! Nice. Hop right up here. Oh my goodness. Good lord. And look, if you look up there, let me come down here. Oh, hit the switch. Oops. Pop up here. And we found our second camper. Uh, we can probably just jump down here. Whee! There we go. Stay away from that leaf, because you will get slapped. He will smack you up. All right, now we're gonna head back over to where that teeter totter was. Okay. Where is the teeter totter? It's right up here. Right over here. Okay. Uh. Another jump. Another jump. And another jump. There we go. Now what you want to do now is we want to take this, go across, and throw it at the switch. That's going to create a bouncy bouncy for us, a bouncy leaf, trampoline leaf, whatever you want to call it. And we can come over here. But the reason why we need that is because we got to go over here. We have to grab this. I think I could just walk off right here, right? Yeah, I could just walk off right here. Come over here. And we're gonna throw this. So now we're up here. We don't need that just yet. We can make this jump. We're gonna take this. Bounce up here. Up here. Up here. And I missed the throw. So bright. Oh, I can just walk so off right there. Shiny. I missed. I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed. I probably could just die and restart, but I don't feel like doing all that. So, I said I don't feel like doing all that, and that just went the long way. It's not that far away. I'm not that lazy. I like that just implied that I'm lazy. Alright, we're gonna grab you. Bounce over here. We just walk down. I didn't realize you could just fall right there, actually. Like I said, bear with me on this level. Like I said, this level is uh, a bit hazy. 
here, 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 come down here. I did not realize that was gonna happen. I'm just gonna let that blow up. All right. Beep. Bop. Hurry up. Grab that. Made it. Just in time. Take care of this guy. If you jump down here, we got another camper. All right. We got that guy right there, too. But we can head over here. And we should be good with this area now. <laughs> We're going to take that out. And grab our first golden spatula. Now we're gonna head over to the Cup Swamp. Mm, 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 mm. All right, welcome to the Cup Swamp. There's jellyfish right here. Let me give it to this guy. There's some stuff over here on the side. We'll worry about that in a little bit. There's some other stuff down there too. Hmm. Take these guys out. Uh oh! I almost showed you what happened. So we're gonna jump over here, and Mr. Krabs has something for Patrick. Hi, Mr. Krabs. What are you doing here? Ahoy, Patrick. I'm trying to return three stone tikis to this pedestal so I can get to the kelp cave across that bridge. There could be customers in there. I saw three tikis scattered around this area, but me old brain couldn't figure out how to get them back up here. Can I try? Sure, why not? I need a good laugh. Oh, that's There's crazy. There's a golden spatula up there for you. Oh, boy, Mr. Oh, Krabs. I need them off. I'll see what I can do. So yeah, three stone tiki's that you need to put up there, right? We're gonna activate this box first. Ooh. Hey, my back feels better. And trust. Uh, this one, I had to do this one last. The little buttons you see down there are basically buttons to uh, reset. And what I'm going to do now, SpongeBob, please work with me. SpongeBob, please. I'm gonna come down here, and we are going to uh, destroy this right now. Now we can take this guy out. Hey, bye. All right, we took that guy out. We're gonna switch back to Patrick now. I don't think the duplicator drum responds if you do that. It does not. So we don't gotta worry about those guys for now. So we're gonna head in this direction over here. There's a sleepy time robot there. Ouch. But we can take him out by doing this. And just throwing this guy down here. <sighs> you know. Sometimes we just can't have nice things, can we? So now I gotta do this. Because we can't do, do this, Patrick cannot hit this guy otherwise. So we gotta do it this way. So now we got rid of that guy. We're gonna head back over here. Because we need Patrick for this. Now that we have our boy, Pat. Almost said, Rit! I hate everything. Life is just oh, yeah. a bore. Oh. It is nothing but pain. I forget. Nothing but suffering. How the hell did I overjump that shit? Can he aim up here? So now we gotta get rid of this again. I'm just gonna go over here and get rid of this guy now while I can. You know what? Yeah, just get rid of him. Just get rid of him. Oh. Boom. Alright. Fuck you. Okay. Now, let's go get Pat 
Like I said, I almost called him Rick, but we know his name is not Rick. Uh, there's an area over there. That area over there, we'll deal with that area over there later. But for now, we're just going to continue. Oh my god, I almost did it again. I'm just going to blow you up because I don't like you. Alright. I get the jumping over here. Be careful right here. Oh my god! A fucking jellyfish! You know what? Fuck it. Just fuck it. Fuck everything. Fuck all of it. Just go. Just go. Dick. Alright. Fuck you. Okay. Well, that's what was supposed to happen last time. Because this son of a bitch decided he wanted to be on the leaf directly. <sighs> Fucking asshole. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hit this switch. To get a golden spatula over there. And how we do that is we take this. Throw this on the ice. Or the, we'll make this ice. And we're going to get the walking. Fairly simple golden spatula. It's just right around the bend over here. Hop up here. Oh, we have ourselves a golden spatula. Now we gotta get this fruit so we can throw it back. Pause. <laughs> and we're not. We are not going to be doing that. <laughs> we're gonna run right over here. Pretty sure I can make it all the way back. I can. Excellent. Alright, now we're gonna hop back up here. Ouch. Oh, we can just throw this at you. That's There's a camper over here, by the way. And we got rid of that guy. Carefully. We can get over here. I thought for sure I could raise this right here. You sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Yeah, we can't do anything with this guy yet. Um, so we're gonna keep going this way. Just remember that for later, alright? We're gonna head this direction. We're gonna head over here. Oh, what the fuck? This is such a bad location, okay. Now you see why I said you want to do that one last, because by the way, if you die at any point, no matter how many of the things you have, you gotta restart again. So... I almost missed that jump, good god. I'll give it to you. So shiny. I didn't want to fucking Oh my god. Ouch. What? All right, there we go. Before we do anything else, we got another camper over here. Because our fit of six. Fits quite right. And we can open this gate here. You understand why I got all these shiny objects now? There's a, there's, there's, there's a lot of them that you need. There's a bungee over there. So we can do that with SpongeBob later. I'm gonna head through here. I'm gonna head up here. I can't see! <sighs> I had no idea where the fuck I was at. I couldn't tell where I was at. So I legit could not see.
Wow! There's nothing over there for us. That's where we came from. We have a sock right there. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was easy. Let me get rid of this guy. Alright, we're down here. Oh, boy. I couldn't see. Ugh. Okay. Up here. And we can go up here. Get rid of that hammer. Get rid of that guy. Hey, this and there's another song. Nice. Wooden presents. Oh, boy. Glad I made that, by the way. We can't make it over there. We can't come over here. And we're back where we were at last time. It is very easy to get turned around here. And we're going to activate this guy. Go down here. Lord as a rock. I mean, uh... Wow! I didn't know that was going to work like that. We can do that with this. We can head back over here where we have not been yet. And if you've seen down here, there seems to be some stuff over here. Get this guy out. I'm gonna come down here. We're gonna hit this switch right there. So now. We can bring that other stone tiki over there. We can head over here. Well, before we do that, let's get this sock right here. Oh goody, another one! Thought I saw something right there. I'm seeing things now. This level will do that to you. So we can head back up here. I don't want to die because I don't want to start this stuff all over again. Can I make that jump? If I made the jump, I don't know if I can make that jump. I'm going to keep going this way. Something about over here seems safer. I don't know what it is. This is probably a terrible idea. This is probably a horrible idea. This is probably a really bad idea. Okay, fuck it. We're just gonna go this way. Oh. But fucking ow! All right, we took that guy out. I just don't want to die. I just don't want to die, bro. I, I really don't want to die. I don't want to have to do all that over again. I'm gonna be extra careful here. Okay. Let's get this. Is a whistle. All right, all right. Woo! We can hop in here. This box. Go back over to you. And now that we have that one right there. We hop right here, hop right here, and throw this right there. And now we can put the last stone tiki right there, where it belongs. Ta-da! All right. Well done, son. Next time I need to round up customers for the Krusty Krab, I'll give you a call. Why would the customers want to be made round? <sighs> You're a strange one. You are, Patrick. Huh. Alright, but we're gonna switch to SpongeBob now. 
There's a good reason for that. The first thing we're gonna do is so we're gonna come over here and we are going to do this bungee. That's over here. So it's just right there. We're gonna hop up here. This is nothing. This is just for shiny objects. Uh, nothing special. The ultimate wedgie experience. It shines. Boing. All right. There's a bunch of purple shiny objects right there. You don't want to miss those just because, I mean, they give you 50 per, so. so. We're gonna hop right back over here. Hop up here. And there's our golden spatula. And we are finished with the first section here of Kelp Forest. And we're damn near 30 minutes in. So, in the next one, we are going to continue our journey through the confusing and disorienting Kelp Forest as we enter the Kelp Caves. This part was even worse for me as a child. But anyway, I'd like to thank everybody for watching, to my brothers and my sisters and everybody else in between. I will catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.